Hello, my name is Josh. I'm on the first LEGO League team, 3535. This year's challenge was the trash trek. We had to come up with innovative uses for trash. Our project was making useful items out of common trash. Today, I will be teaching you how to make a beverage cozy. The materials that you will need are foam wrap, which we're using because it's very insulating and it's really hard to recycle, a caliper, an ink pen, you could probably also use a Sharpie, a safety compass, a pair of scissors, a ruler, a roll of tape, preferably packaging tape because it's bigger, and most importantly, everyone's favorite part, a 12 ounce soda can. Don't drink the soda can while you're working, it won't work. I'll give you a few seconds to pause the video and go collect the items. And without further ado, let's get started. So you're gonna start by measuring your soda can with the caliper and it's 61 and you're going to use your safety compass i had mine preset at 30.5 hold it down and then draw it's it, it should be a little bigger than it because or else you won't be able to get it out so for my purposes i'm just going to fill it in because i can kind of see it and then you're going to cut out the circle with the scissors Obviously, you should have a circle that looks something like that, and you can put the soda can on it, and it should have a little bit of room so that it's not like really tight in there and it can't get out. Now we're gonna measure our soda can so we know how tall to make it. You wanna leave about a half inch or a quarter inch of space so you have somewhere to grab the soda can. So I'm gonna say that's four inches. Four inches up is, actually you do need the ink pen, sorry. Um, right there. And then you kind of want to go longer so you can wrap it around and have more insulation on yours. So it's four inches there. It's okay if it's not perfect because it's just going to get taped. So you should have basically a big rectangle. And then just to make sure that it'll fit, wrap it around your soda can. That actually fits perfectly. I'm glad I want extra. And you should have plenty of room to be able to lift the soda can out. But pretty much the last step is going to be you tape the two things together. I would advise starting by just taking a piece of tape, just taping one portion of your edge to part of your circle so that you have something to stay on. So then you put another piece on, fold it up around, and then you have this. You have some, you should have like that right now. And there you have it. You have a beverage cooler or a beverage cozy, depending on what you want to call it, that fits your soda can. And if you made it to the right position, it should be able to slip right in. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed it. If you really liked it, could you please post your own in the comments? And please like. Hi, I'm Alyssa, and today I will be showing you how to make this holiday picture frame. What you will need for this is a picture cu cut short of five by seven, a piece of five by seven copy paper, a five by seven piece of cardboard, a glue stick, a piece of colored paper cut to four by six and folded in half, a pair of scissors, a yellow plastic strap like the kind that gets shipped on boxes, a stapler, a hole punch, and a six by six white piece of copy paper. You will start by folding your piece of five by seven paper, copy paper, in half, taking your half folded four by six piece, put it on top, you'll take your pen, and you will trace the four by six. Then you will take you will take the copy paper 
and your scissors. Leaving it folded, you will cut along the black the pen lines. Then you will take what is going to be a frame and you will glue two edges of it down to the cardboard leaving room for your photo to go in. Your photo, put it inside of your picture frame and glue it down. Then you will glue the frame down. So now we are going to make the white flowy part of your picture frame. So set that part off to the side. Um, to start, you will need to fold corner to corner the square of uh, six by six. Then you will need to fold corner to corner again. And you'll take your scissors and you don't want to cut all the way across, but just enough that it, it doesn't come off. And then you will alt turn it around and you will cut almost to the edge again. You will do this all the way down. And when you are done, once you unfold it, you have your white piece of paper. Staple it to the bottom of your picture frame. And now you have the flowy part attached to your picture frame. Now you will take your hole punch. There. Once you have your hole, you will take your yellow plastic strap, loom it through the hole, and staple it to the middle of your yellow plastic strap. And you take the other end And then you have your picture frame and you can hang it up anywhere you would like. Hi, I'm Janae and I want to help you make a 4x6 postcard. So what you need is a 4x6 piece of cardboard, a 4x6 photo, a 4x6 piece of paper, a glue stick or a stapler. You take your piece of cardboard and your picture. You either glue or staple them together like this. So then you have this glued, but then to around this side, you take your piece of paper, glue it down, and then you have your postcard, all you have to do, then you draw, like, actually you draw a line, you write your address, and then you write your note. And that's how you make your postcard. Hi, I'm Evelyn, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a picture board out of recycled material. To do this project, you'll need a styrofoam board cut to your desired size. We've already cut ours. And some uh, recycled tissue paper or wrapping paper large enough to wrap around all edges of your board. You'll also need four straps of ribbon that are long enough to wrap around your board. I've cut two and I'll show you how to cut the other two. You will also need scissors, a stapler, and masking tape. Okay, now let's begin. So you're going to start by placing your styrofoam directly in the center of your wrapping paper. You want to have your masking tape ready because we're going to need to tape this down. So I'm going to start by doing the longer edge of the board. Okay so now you are going to take your ribbon 
and you want to make sure that you can fit it and, and wrap it around your bulletin board like that. You're going to need four of those. So I already had two cut and you're just going to want to measure so it's roughly the same size on our, all four. Okay, so now this is when you're going to need your stapler and you're going to do one on each corner. You want to have it so that it goes across your board like this. So that when you do the next one, they kind of meet over on the edge. And I would recommend stapling these two together. You're also, so that unless yours is tight enough, you're going to want to do a staple in each section so they stay tight enough for you to put your pictures in. And so here's your bulletin board. And we have another completed project over here. And so this just you can slip your pictures in however you would like. And thank you.